This thing is a showstopper. It's going to be a killer. Every party, every dinner party, every grill out, people are going to love you for this. Cheers. <laughs> Hello, my hungry friends. Look at this gorgeous potato salad. We're cooking sawatka zimniaczana. Beautiful Polish potato salad. Today we're making America's favorite made Polish way potato salad, sawatka zimniaczana. I know there's potato salad recipes all over the world, but we're putting a Polish twist on ours and we're adding a bunch of ingredients that's gonna elevate it to the point where you've never been before. This is a really good salad. It goes super great with uh, grilled sausages or when you're cooking out barbecue or whatever you're gonna do. Uh, make it once and you'll see. This is our ingredients for today. I have boiled potatoes and I have cut them up mostly into kind of a larger dice. I like to go a little bit bigger on the dice for the potato salad because I like to see all the ingredients better. And this is a little bit different from our sawatka yarzhinova, our veggie salad that we made a few weeks ago. Since it's springtime, uh, in Poland we can buy these uh, young potatoes and I don't peel them then. I scrub them real well and then um, take a knife and just rub the, most of the skin off, but that's why they're so dark. So I have the potatoes, then I have uh, pickles, and I'm using the pickles in brine. Those are the pickles that uh, get sour by sitting in uh, salty water, and the water is kind of murky like this. And that's what I was drinking, by the way. <laughs> Pickle a day will keep the doctor away. <laughs> uh, so I have a few pickles in here. And then some hard-boiled eggs that I've also diced, a little bit larger dice. And when I went to the market, uh, the radishes are not normally in my recipe, but when I was at the market the other day, I saw these and I thought they will also do really well in the salad. So I hope you try these uh, also. And I have a couple large cloves of garlic and some fresh, uh, some fresh herbs. And don't skip this step, they're gonna make all the difference in your salad. So we'll chop these. And I have chopped, I just sliced these radishes uh, to put them in here. And I think I want to do a couple more. And <clears throat> I'm not, I'm also not going super small on the cut on these radishes because I, I want to see them in a salad. I like the red color in there. It's gonna add another, another color to our salad with which is just not dull, just orange mush. This salad uh, is on our tables year round. But when summer comes, which kind of doesn't feel like summer yet, we're not in summer, I guess. It's just springtime. We make this to go with our grilled meats and grilled veggies and it's just such a good salad. And I've c came out a lot. We have to have a party, it looks like. And I'll cut these t potatoes too. And again, I kind of like a larger dice, kind of like this, so you can see them in the salad. And then we're gonna stir these <coughs> all together. We just have to be careful and not to break them up too much. If you're in America, uh, when I made that salad, when I lived there, I normally used a waxier potato, like the, mm, the re what's the red potato? It's just called red, red potato. potato. <laughs> the red potato. Uh, because I liked how waxy it is. Uh, it doesn't fall apart when you're, um, when you're boiling it and then cutting. So if you, if you can buy those, if not, fingerling potatoes um, work well also. So I would use those if you can find them. That's a lot of garlic. I think I'm going to do one and a half. Those are kind of big. 
There goes our garlic. And then you can do an onion and some chives. Or if you're doing, if you have this like I do, uh, green onion, I'm just going to cut the whole thing. And that's another, these green veggies add such a nice freshness to the salad. And these you can go, they're smaller than you would on the taters. The knife looks like it needs sharpening again. And you get on that. there. This doesn't take long at all and you normally have most of these ingredients at home. You can also use the pickles that if you don't have these, these are kind of hard to get. You can make your own. I have a recipe on my page. I'll post a link below. Or you can do the vinegar based um, pickles. Dill pickle will do. Kosher pickles will do. And I'm going to do the whole thing, stem and all, because there's flavor in stems also. I have parsley and dill. If you don't like one or the other, skip one or the other, but go with at least one, either parsley or dill. Just works so much better. You will never buy your potato salad again. And we have a big heap of that. And that was the last ingredient as far as veggies. And now we can do, so I have mayo and I have sour cream. Sour cream is a little looser here. Uh, and in the summer, I like to mix mayo and sour cream a little bit for the salad, just because I think it makes it a little bit more fresher tasting. Um, if you, you can just do mayo if you want, but I'm gonna do both. You can also do um, plain yogurt or Greek yogurt. And I'm gonna do a couple spoons and then see how that goes. I'll mix it and see if I need more. And then make sure to salt your potatoes when you boil them, but it's probably gonna need a little bit more salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit now, and then I'll taste it and see if it needs more. Uh, just had a thought in my head, it escaped me. And I have freshly, gr not freshly ground pepper, but just ground pepper. This one is pretty spicy. So I'm just putting a little bit around and I will also test it and see if I needed to add more okay I have a larger spoon here so I'm just going to gently spread this around and mix this and we want this stuff coated but we don't want it all drowning in mayo and sour cream. We want a nice light layer that will bring just a little bit creaminess to the salad. I think we're getting there. Take a look. And I'm just being gentle so that my potatoes don't become mush. Just enough to distribute the salt and Mix the herbs in, in there and the garlic. Doesn't look gorgeous. Looks nothing like the potato salad you're used to buying in the grocery store, is it? I'm posting a link to this recipe 
under my video. And if you want to click on it, it'll take you to my page, PolishYourKitchen.com. And there's plenty more recipes, videos coming to YouTube every Monday. Please subscribe to my channel so I know you're watching. I know you want to see more. And let's give this a taste. You want some? Uh-huh. Give you a good bite. What do you think? I love it. More salt? Yeah, trocha. Trocha soli? Trocha soli. Mmm. I don't think so. Okay. Salt to taste. Salt to taste, pepper to taste. It's gorgeous, it's fresh. You taste the garlic and the veggies. Cool it till your party, uh, party goers, party. Party people. Party people show up and they will be asking you for this recipe. So please share, subscribe, like, follow. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Smuchnego!